Our next guest has his new stand-up special, Born in 86, available now on YouTube, making his Tonight Show debut. Please welcome the very funny DJ Demare. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. What a dream. Thank you so much for having me. Keep that applause going for my interpreter, Caroline, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to have an interpreter. I wanted to make sure that uh, all my deaf homies could appreciate the show as well. And because uh, I'm deaf, you know, I'm, I'm not full deaf. I wear hearing aids. Uh, I actually don't know sign language myself. I'm bad at being deaf, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm not good at hearing either. I, I'm like a day walker. I don't, I don't know where I belong. But uh, I actually learned recently there's a bit of a beef between the deaf and hard of hearing communities, uh, a quiet beef, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but a beef nonetheless. But uh, I want no part of that. I got nothing but love for everybody, deaf people. I've never felt deafer than I did during this pandemic. <laughs> for real, man. Everybody's had a mask on. I haven't had a real conversation in two years. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, for real. Oh, my God. It's been brutal. People used to always ask me, like, how much can you actually hear and how much are you, like, lip reading? And uh, now that everybody's been covering their mouth, I was finally able to run the numbers. And it uh, <laughs> turns out I'm lip reading 100% of the time. So, yeah. Yeah. Man, oh, man. The worst is when they have a mask on and they're behind plexiglass. You know, you walk into the bank, you're looking at a guy, he's got the mask on, he's behind the glass. I just got, I'm staring at the teller for like 10 seconds before I'm finally just like, hey man, have you started talking yet? I <laughs> legitimately have no idea. Yeah. Man, if this is important, could you, uh, if this is important, could you like write it on a piece of paper and put it up against the glass like a, like a reverse robbery situation? <laughs> man. I don't know sign language, but I realized that it might be time for me to learn, you know? <laughs> but uh, that wasn't learn, by the way. That was poop. But uh, <laughs> that was a joke for my deaf homies. <laughs> might have ruined the joke by explaining it, but I had to for my blind homies. <laughs> uh, yeah. Had to do it. Yeah. I knew the pandemic was real when they took all the sports away. That's when I knew. You know, because I'm an idiot. Like, when I first started hearing about COVID, I was one of those morons. I was like, yeah, this will be over in four or five days. We'll be back to business. And then they took all the sports away. I was like, it's pretty serious, guys. It's pretty serious. They took all the sports away. We should probably start washing our hands. Uh, they took them all away. And I love sports. Like, I need sports. When they took them away, like, I love every sport. Violent sports. I mean, it is a bit difficult for me to watch violent sports sometimes because I played a lot of hockey growing up and I got a lot of concussions and I feel like they might have scrambled my brain a little bit, but I don't know. I just love violent sports. It is a little hard for me to watch violent sports sometimes, though, because I played a lot of hockey growing up, and I got a lot of concussions. And, uh, yeah. yeah. I feel like they might have scrambled my brain a little bit, but uh, that was a joke, but if I do it again, call an ambulance, please. Um, but yeah, then they took them all away. All of a sudden, I had no sport to watch. I had to, like, I went on YouTube. I started watching weird, random sports just to fill the void in my heart. I got into darts for a while. I was watching darts, <laughs> cornhole. I got deep into cornhole. That was weird. <laughs> I started watching a lot of speed walking. Speed walking is amazing, though. Like, I stand by that. I know it's easy to hate on speed walking. I've been there. But once you get over your prejudice, undeniably the sexiest sport on the planet, you know? <laughs> Undeni what other sport is literally all in the hips, you know? And they go hard. They go for 50 kilometers, 31 miles. 30, could you imagine doing this for 31 miles? <laughs> My hips would break. Man, it's no joke. No, you know what I love about speed walking too? It's the only sport with like a built-in limit. Every other sport, the coaches are like, give it 110%. Speed walking's the only one where they're like, better cap it at 98, you know? <laughs> If we're not careful, this could turn into a jog. It's a <laughs> dangerous game we're playing here. Speedwalking's got a marketing problem. It should be the biggest sport on the planet. What I would do if I was in charge of speedwalking, I would license it out to all the other sports. Create brand new beautiful sports with speedwalking. Take your favorite sport, add speedwalking to the front of it. You got a beautiful, think of any sport you want. Speedwalking baseball. 
You see it? You see it, right? A guy up to Badger hits the ball to the left field gap. He's going down the third field. Come outfielder trying to track it down. Come on. Speed walking football. Could you imagine speed walking? Just hit. <laughs> Receiver trying to get it. Come on. Man, oh man. It doesn't even have to be like a real sport, like a random event I would watch if they added speed walking to it. You know the running with the bulls they do every year in Spain? <laughs> Big deal. Anybody can run with the bulls. Let's see what you're really made out of, you know? <laughs> speed walking with the bulls, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thousands of people die every year. What a sport. <laughs> Pure violence. Be a little hard for me to watch, though, because I played a lot of hockey growing up, <laughs> and I got a lot of... What's so funny? You guys have been amazing. Thank you so much. I'm DJ Caroline, everybody. Come on. Oh, my God. Fantastic. DJ Demers right there. Born in 86. It's available now on YouTube. We'll be right back, everybody. Come on back. Hey.